Hello Toyota fans, Ben and Daniel once again for a brand new Test Drive Tuesday adventure. Today's adventure is going to be more on the topic of electric vehicles. And here at North Georgia Toyota, we do have a particular electric vehicle. And you can only have it here at the dealership. Our, our brand new 2024 BZ4X. I did a video about this a while back uh, when I first started my job here, but we're gonna get more into the ins and outs of it. And Daniel's never driven an EV vehicle before, so this is like his first impression of like being behind something more into the future for him. So <laughs> why don't we go ahead, sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Test Drive Tuesdays, Test Drive Tuesdays. Welcome back guys, Test Drive Tuesday, the all new 24 Toyota. BZ4X, the very first fully electric vehicle from Toyota. I've never driven an EV, so I'm really excited to get behind the wheel. I'm going to show you just a few of the exterior features before we let Ben show you the inside. So come around to the front. You've got the all new front end. Now, obviously, this is an all new vehicle, so there was not a predecessor before for the styling cues. So they had a blank canvas to design this vehicle. But you'll see very, very futuristic front end, the Toyota badging here. You got a front camera that we've already played around with for the bird's eye view. All of this is geared more towards miles per gallon, uh, wind diffusion, all that stuff to give you the most maximum range on a charge. So we did look up the spec sheet on this. Of course, you've got AC, uh, vented seats, heated seats, all of the luxuries inside that will take away from your range. But out of the box, the XLE gets 252 miles on one charge. So it's pretty cool. You don't have to go to the gas pump, you know, in town driving. If you have a charger at home, very, very efficient for a daily driver. Now coming around to the driver's side, you've got a 20 inch alloy from the factory wrapped in some Bridgestones. Really cool to see a very big, nice, aggressively luxurious wheel from the factory. Instead of a gas port, you have a charging port here. Right here, easy access right to the driver's side. Close that there. And then it just blends seamlessly into the fender and it kind of gets hidden in all the body lines. Coming down again, very dynamic. Uh, you've got heated mirrors, defroster, blind spot monitoring, very nice panoramic glass roof. Does it have a sunroof, but does have the pano roof, which we'll show you inside. Going across, very, very nice stylish body lines, going to color match door handles. This is windshield pearl, by the way, with a black accent. Again, that gorgeous 20 inch rim. Coming back to the rear, this vehicle just has a lot of aggressive body lines to, like I said, miles per gallon, be as fuel efficient as possible on the highway. You got a really cool rear spoiler. It's a really cool design, very aggressive, comes off the back glass. Rear deck spoiler again. Now this is our courtesy vehicle. That's why it's wrapped in North Georgia Toyota. So if you come and have an oil change or an extended service, you might get to experience the BZ4X for yourself. Uh, this rear hatch opens. We can go ahead and try that now. So power lift gate, and actually for like a crossover-ish type vehicle, a huge truck space, JBL audio in the back. Uh, excuse our mess, this is like I said, our courtesy vehicle. Big rear hatch, by plenty of storage. Now obviously, you know, you're not gonna have a gas tank or any of the, the EPA stuff back here. It's literally just space for your, your convenience. You've got a security cover back here, so if you wanna hide some cargo from peeping eyes, Power lift gate, like we mentioned, it's going to close automatically. You've got uh, the rear parking sonar, and then wrapping around to the passenger side, really, really cool, aggressive styling on the on the tail light design. It's really cool to see what Toyota's coming up with with all these new vehicles, but very, very futuristic, very space age like. Uh, it's a really cool step in the future for Toyota design in general. So let's go around on the driver's side. We'll get Ben's perspective and get this thing on the road. Let's drive an EV. Let's, let's go. Let's do it. Alrighty friends, so I have actually been driving this particular vehicle around all over Dalton and all over our uh, counties in Northwest Georgia because I want to show off this vehicle. It's a really cool vehicle. So let's go ahead and take a look at the inside of what we got here in the cockpit. So we got an all digital screen right here and of course the door is open because Daniel will be joining me in a second. But if you do leave the power on, it will shut off in roughly an hour. We got 79 more miles to use in battery, but we're going to go on a field trip later on in this particular episode to a charging station here in Dalton, Georgia. 
So this actually I mentioned in our podcast, there are plenty of charging stations throughout our little town and also the other town in Wrangell, Georgia. There's also charging ports there. The charging ports are starting to become slowly available everywhere in uh, in the big cities and the bigger small towns like Dalton. So um, now that I got that little spiel out of the way, talk about the features of the steering wheel. Uh, a lot of safety features, your typical you know, radar, radar cruise control, lane departures, and you also got the sensors to uh, talk about uh, how far away the vehicle is in front of you, uh, the Bluetooth, volume control for radio, all that good stuff. And take a look at this stuff right here. We got ourselves uh, where you control the reverse, drive, neutral, and park. It is so simple so right now we're in park but it's all by the touch of a button and all controlled by the knob so if you check this out if i hit reverse i pull the thing down on neutral now i turn left to uh, reverse we get a bird's eye view of the vehicle so you can actually if i want to go forward right here and kind of show off to a parking space so i'm going to go back to driving so i'm going to do two clicks to the right we're just go park right over here in our dealership and then you'll just press the button too. You can make your way over to the uh, reverse side camera and the bird's eye view camera other than just using the reverse button. So that'll be available to check out on your side here. But you could definitely look at the bird's eye view. Just say so you're not the best at parking and you can just go ahead and use the bird's eye view. And when you park, just push the tip of the button. You hit the P button for parking. So a lot of great features that this thing offers. US, uh, USB-C uh, charging ports and lightning uh, chargers in here alongside with other uh, ways you can charge your computing devices. Uh, Apple CarPlay that looks about roughly about a 12 inch screen but either way you get yourself a, a touch screen here to control your Bluetooth and everything. So uh, you can enable your audio, your radio, your Bluetooth devices, uh, trip information, all that good stuff. And in here, there's a uh, USB, uh, USB charging port left by one of our courtesy drivers here at the dealership. Oh, and a wireless charger. And a wireless charger right here. That's got to show that off right here. You just place your phone down. So hopefully it'll, I'll kind of show you guys on my personal phone. See if it'll work. And it says QI charging right here. And there you go. It's charging. Boom. Perfect. So let's go ahead and give it a ride around town. Alrighty, friends, we're just now leaving the dealership. We're picking up some speed here. Now, mind you, the engine is super, super duper quiet. I, th I mentioned it in the podcast, and I've also mentioned it in our recent Test Drive Tuesday video with the 2025 Camry, like how these hybrid type engines are starting to become more and more quiet. But we are not driving a hybrid, we're driving 100% electric. So, no gas whatsoever is going to be in this particular vehicle so we are now picking up some speed right now uh just trying to maintain the speed limit because uh and you got to pay very close attention when you are driving this vehicle because you will never know like if you don't pay attention just have your foot kind of like rest on the on the gas you might pick up an extra 15 20 miles an hour if you are not paying attention because of the uh, because of the silence of this particular vehicle but it's very smooth and very quiet it, yeah i love it i actually i mean personally i love this car um i know we got i know evs right now are not getting the greatest reps but there are advantages to electric vehicles which we'll talk about later on to uh toward the end of the vlog but uh, yeah it's a it's a really cool vehicle All right, we're going to make our way onto the bypass right now. We're going to kind of gain some speed. Golly. <laughs> we're going up to 60 miles an hour as much as I want to go faster than this, but God, we man. just went from zero to 60 in probably less than five to six seconds. It really, it really sucks you back in the sea. Yeah. That was really surprising. It's, it's like a roller coaster, man. That's crazy. And we are really picking up some good speed with this thing. We're, once we hop more onto the uh, bypass with Daniel and his first impressions of this vehicle, because we have a little more, uh, a little more wiggle room with the speed. 
but man, this thing is so quiet. It is the torque on this thing is like, you can't feel it. It's just so quiet, it's so smooth. It is really ridiculously really cool. Let's go off and switch vehicles here. All right, guys. First impressions, BZ4X. I could get my driver cockpit all arranged. Looks like we got a power driver seat, fully adjustable tilt and telescoping steering wheel. I've, I've never been in this, never really, uh, we don't have a whole lot of these as far as inventory, so hands on with this, first time ever. I've seen a few videos and a few training modules, but actually being in the vehicle, you know, first person is it's pretty sick. So first things first, buckle up for safety. And uh, let's get all this. The inside, very, very, you know, classic Toyota driver focused, driver centric design. Big touch screen has been touched on. Uh, your climate control in the center stack is all touch here. So we've got heated and ventilated seats, heated steering wheel. You've got your eco, your auto uh, for, like I said, the climate control. Dual zone climate. So if Ben's hot or cold or I'm hot or cold, we can swap out. Uh, inside air circulation. Looks like you've got a window defroster. All of your uh, AC vent controls there. Really cool. All of this is touch screen. So more of a futuristic design. I do like how Ben mentioned the... Uh, shifter is all, I mean, of course it's electronic, but it's all like a, similar to like a Prius kind of, where it's just one knob for your drive controls. Rear view camera function there as I press it. Uh, traction control, looks like you got an eco and a snow mode for your drive functions. Uh, looks like you've got a parking brake, a park hold function, which is really cool. So if you're at a stoplight and you're stop and go traffic, you can hit the park hold button. And when you come to a stop, the vehicle holds itself so you don't have to sit here in traffic and hold your foot down on the brake. It does it for you. So when you hit the accelerator, it takes off. It's kind of a, you know, one of those little bitty details Toyota builds in that makes driving more comfortable. Uh, you've got a home link enabled, uh, you know, almost a frameless mirror. You've got your SOS bunks, uh, you've got your SOS function, your uh, LED dome lights on both sides. Uh, and what's cool about this is you've got your function for the, uh, the panel roof, so I can close that off if it's super bright outside right now. It's kind of overcast, so we've got it open. But that uh, sunscreen closes. Also includes your back passengers. It goes all the way back there as well. Go ahead and open it back so you can see it. Very, very dramatic. So right here, you've got the console. This thing slides forward, so if, if you're a little bit smaller stature driver and your elbow's up here in the front, you can adjust that. You can slide this back as well and opens to a very generous uh, center console, big cup holders. Uh, one thing in this vehicle you'll notice is it's a little bit smaller of a crossover SUV type, but you got plenty of storage. Huge center pass-through cubby hole, 12 volt, USB-C, phone placements. Uh, one weird quirk I'll noticed that, uh, that I don't know if Ben mentioned before, no glove box. So zero glove box storage, but it makes up for it with the pass-through cubby. So it's kind of cool. Big door pockets. Uh, soft touch areas here. You've got a cloth mixed media on the dash. And again, this futuristic like little, you know, I don't even know what you call it. It's like a bay door for your center screen. So your your focus can be directly on the road and yet focus on all of the, the driver infotainment. All the information you need as a driver. So I've got radar cruise control, lane departure warning. Looks like it's got lane trace. Uh, wireless again, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Leather wrap, heated steering wheel, and as you'll notice in the P, in the B pillar right here, JBL audio. So this thing does have a really nice sound system. So enough talking feature wise. I'm excited to get this on the road, and uh, let's do it. Let's do it. So, all right, and here we go. First time ever driving an EV. This thing has 544 miles on it, so it's brand new. So, yeah. So I, it looks like it it breaks for you going downhill. So we're approaching a stop sign, about taking a left turning on the bypass. Very, very smooth. Th this car is, it's kind of a, for the first time driving an EV, it's very, it's very eerie because it doesn't make noises. So you hear everything, like the blinker, you hear the AC vents. Uh, most likely can hear your music better because you don't have the rumble of a, a gasoline powered engine, no exhaust sound. Uh, yeah, it's nuts. I mean, the maintenance on this type of thing would be, I mean, it's very minimal. I mean, obviously you have your wearable items like your wiper blades, your air filters for your cabin. Uh, there is no air filter for the engine because there is no engine. Uh, you've got brakes, your tires, your normal wearable 
items that you have, you know, driving on the road, but there is no oil changes, there's no coolant, there's no um, anything like that. I think the only fluid you have is windshield wiper fluid, so it's kind of crazy. Uh, the concept of it is, is wild, but I, you know, eventually I don't think everybody will go to EVs, but I do think hybrid vehicles are the new, the new wave of the future. But uh, yeah, let's get on the bypass. Let's see this thing. So that, that's to the floor. Still to the floor. Still to the floor. It goes. It's immediate. Man, it's crazy how all you hear is just a little bit of wind noise. There's no noise. There's no revving. There's no redlining. It's immediate, instant feedback, power-wise. It's like a... Uh... Kind of like an airplane, honestly. It's wild. Man. It's really, it, it's really awesome. It's crazy. Man. I, I can see the the speed right here on the not really a heads up display, but that that gauge is so pushed so much further towards the windshield. It's in my direct line of sight. I can see it over my my steering wheel. Nothing's in the way. Uh, yeah, I mean, I I really like it, man. It's kind of it's kind of crazy. It's it's kind of spooky, honestly, because there's no sounds, but. I mean, the feedback, I mean, very responsive steering wheel. There's no, it doesn't feel like you're flying uh, like a like an Xbox controller, you know, like people think like, oh, it's all electronic. It's going to feel weird when I drive it. It's just like you're driving anything else. It just doesn't have a motor. Right. That's floored. We're floored. It. It's pretty wild. It's pretty cool. They say that Tesla, the one that's like the performance version, I think it's called the Plaid, because Elon Musk names his stuff weird stuff. Yeah. They say that thing takes off like a NASCAR. Oh. I've never, I've never driven, I've ridden in a Tesla, but I've seen videos of Tesla Plaids drag racing and, and beating Hellcats off the line, which is pretty nuts. Oh, yeah. Because the Hellcat's like a thousand something horsepower. It's cool, man. It's cool to see Toyota dip their toes in the water. It's just like what Daniel and I talked about. It's always a uh, a car for everybody, and um, you know, this would Daniel and I are very different people. We like, I like to travel locally and explore cities and all that, and Daniel likes to go hunting. But you know, the thing about Toyota, there's a car for everybody, for every lifestyle, and every kind of interest, and it's great that. Uh, even Toyota's going down a hybrid route, and here we go again. Woo! <laughs> it, it's like a roller coaster ride. It is. It, like it's nuts. Well, anyway, what I'm saying is like Toyota is a car for everybody, and it's just great to have that option. And Toyota, I believe, it makes a promise that that's how they're always going to be. I know what the word that came to me that describes this vehicle after driving it for a little bit. It's like a stealth fighter. It's like a Boeing stealth bomber just cruising through the highway. No wind resistance, quiet. It's wild. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. We pulled back into the dealership just to close the video out. I wanted to show you. It's interesting on some electric vehicles. The trunk is sometimes known as the frunk because they're, you know, sometimes manufacturers hide the engine and the battery cells up under the seats. Well, Toyota kind of kept this traditional. So inside this engine bay, which was an engine bay, this is your all-electric motor so you still have a cranking battery you still have your traditional brake fluid obviously uh, all of your radiator and uh, the AC control stuff's here relay and fuse this is actually interesting this says battery coolant only and then this is also another type of fluid that goes and cools the battery cells and and all the intricate workings of this so again there's no oil there's no uh, you know antifreeze there's there's none of that really the only thing you have to worry about as an owner is your windshield washer fluid so every time you go to the service department they'll do all this the the reservoirs for the battery system uh other than that it's it's really maintenance free you've got that you got your tires your brakes like i mentioned but really really cool technology in the bz4x and uh to wrap up the video ben's going to take you on a field trip while i go back to the sales department and show you just how easy it is to charge this thing on the road and maybe your town's like ours dalton where you have a battery station set up already so he's going to show you that process the how-tos of that and uh we'll close that video out thanks guys all right friends we're having a little field trip today to a local hotel here in town for the best western plus here in dalton georgia 
So they actually happen to have some charging ports at this particular location here in Dalton. And other than this, this place, you can also charge your car at the Whitfield County Library, as long as, as well as the depot and the distillery here in town in Dalton. So the charging ports over by the depot and the distillery, I couldn't seem to get them to work. I didn't really understand how it goes, but I went by the library and their charging stations are actually full. So it's actually nice to see vehicles like the EVs, like BZ4Xs or Teslas or whatever, being utilized. So, you know, perhaps that we might need to have a little more coming to our local shops and uh, hotels and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and see how this works in, to the charging port with this particular plug-in. Okay, so what we'll do here is open the charging doors like this. You just pop it open and it's in the front side of the vehicle by the driver's side. And you use your fingers to open up the doors like this. So a little poppage right there. So let's go ahead and take this one. Some of them will need to have like your phone or your credit card or whatnot, but this one looks like you just take it and charge it. So let's go ahead and take it. And we got like the, this little thingamajig here. And we're gonna pop it in right over here. So this particular model, it looks like you plug it in from the top portion here. It looks like it matches exactly. So let's go ahead and plug it in. And I felt a little vibration and now the machine says that the car is now charging. So let's go ahead and see inside what it looks like. All right, so he's just sat down and you can see a little battery uh, signal here. It says it's gonna take about eight hours and 10 minutes for a full charge, but I don't really have that kind of time today as I'm filming this, but it just kind of gives you an idea that this kind of vehicle here, you're just definitely gonna want to charge it at your house. But when you're out and about, there'll be different charging stations, so you can give or take of how much time that you need to charge, or perhaps you might find the right kind of stations to charge your car for more of a supercharge. So I stepped outside and locked the car, so the feature about it, when you have your car locked and you're charging it, it cannot be taken off unless you unlock your car. But i trying to tug here, and it is not coming apart unless I unlock the car I should be able to take it off which let's go ahead and unlock the car it look comes right on off and after you're done charging up just close your ports shut the door and be on your merry way and that, my friends, ends another great adventure for Test Drive Tuesday at North Georgia Toyota dealership in Dalton, Georgia. The all-new 2024 BZ4X. Thoroughly enjoyed this vehicle. And uh, in my personal opinion, uh, when it comes to EV vehicles, I think it's a... I think EV vehicles are fun cars. It's an easy to get around car. And I think it's for people who... Um, like to live and stay locally honestly i would say that uh if you're doing things within the tri-state area like we're going to use my town of dalton for example we're kind of like in the top portion of uh, georgia on the border of tennessee and georgia and we're about about 20 30 minutes to the border give or take of the traffic so if you do work in chattanooga and you want to go for little little trips to like nashville knoxville lj georgia or even parts of atlanta you you could probably get by on a full uh on a full charge if you leave from dalton i i would not go all those cities at once because you know there are charging ports but we just learned uh, about these charges here for this vehicle it's going to take about eight hours for a full battery charge unless you're going to have to do your own research to find more of the superchargers for this particular vehicle um Again, it's not a Tesla, it's a, it's a Toyota, so um, every uh, charging port might be different for what it could do with your vehicle if you decide to invest in the BZ4X. But like I said, if you are doing any uh, local driving and you live locally and enjoy the things that you do in life locally in your little towns or your local big cities, I highly suggest get an electric vehicle. You're gonna save so much uh, gas money when it comes to that kind of thing. And you can just plug it right on in your house or take it, take it for a quick charge right over here at these charging stations. But if you're doing long distance trips, I highly suggest you stick with hybrids where you can switch off from gas to electric. 
But everybody has their own opinions, everybody has their own thoughts and lifestyle, but what I like about Toyota vehicles, there is a car for everyone, and I'm glad that at least Toyota has given an option for those who want to invest in EV. So call this number right here, request for Daniel, or request for Lauren and service, and while you get your car serviced, or your oil change, or anything that involves your car being fixed, and you want to test drive this baby, call that number, request a, request a time slot to use this vehicle, so we can get you inside the BZ4X, and so you can enjoy it, going to a little grocery shopping, or taking you back to your house, or whatever you need to get done. Just call that number, request Daniel, request Lauren so you can enjoy this particular vehicle and that my friends I will see you guys in some future test drive Tuesdays and always remember to keep driving and drive safe I'll see you guys in the next one and so will Daniel just stay tuned for some more adventures be sure to subscribe like the video comment and all that good stuff stay tuned for some future podcasts some future content for body work here at North Georgia Toyota because we got some body shop content coming your way so it's gonna be a great great time for our channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.